Hi Taurus, uh, welcome to your love reading for mid-month April. Please know that these are genuine messages, so they may or may not resonate. If they don't, do check out your rising moon and Venus signs. You can now follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Links are provided in the description box. If you want to book a private reading with me, then link for that is in the description box as well. Please remember in a read through it and go can be reversed. So today we'll be tuning into your current love energies, what's currently going on in your love life, your person's thoughts, intentions, their actions, right? We're going to start with some oracle messages. I'm using Sacred Destiny Oracle by Denise Lin. Uh, and then I'm going to jump on the tarot and in the end we pull out some love messages for you, right? Taurus, so let's jump in. Okay. Please show me some love oracle messages for Taurus for mid-month April. What's currently going on with Taurus? This is for my dear Taurus. What's currently going on with Taurus in their love life? Please show me some oracle messages for Taurus for mid-month April regarding their love life. We have standstill and we have potential, right? So I feel, Taurus, that uh, with the standstill and potential, um, things could be a little slow right now in your connection, right, with your person. Things are at a standstill. Even if you feel that there is no flow in your connection right now, things are just not uh, moving forward. I feel there's a lot of a uh, lot of things happening beneath the surface, right? Or if you, f or maybe for some of you, you feel stuck in some sort of a situation right now. So um, the need for you to, is to unstuck yourself, right? Try to extricate yourself from this situation for a while, because I see that uh, uh, things could have become stagnant for you in your connection right now with your person. But then this has the potential. I see uh, this potential card is coming up. So this connection has the potential to go somewhere, Taurus. So um, maybe this standstill is just a temporary phase in your in your connection right now. And things are brewing beneath the surface that you can't see right now. Okay. But there's a lot of potential that things might go somewhere. Right. And I see uh, with the dormant work, you know, here, a lot of your emotions... Um, Either your person is, has suppressed their emotions or you have suppressed your emotions or maybe some, some, some negative energies within you. So the need for you is to let all that out, right? Don't keep it inside you. Because I see um, it's causing a lot of stagnation in your connection. Things have come to a point of, of standstill and you don't know what is happening or uh, why, why are things happening like this. But I see here there's a lot of potential. A lot of power in your connection right so let's see what the tarot has to say okay please uh, show me for Taurus uh, what's happening currently with Taurus in their love life current energies for Taurus what's currently happening with Taurus in your love life What's the Taurus currently dealing with in their love life? Alright, let's see. Uh, please show me the present energies for Taurus regarding their love life. What's currently going on in their love life? This is for Taurus, make month April. Oh, three of pentacles. Okay, we have three of pentacles, three of cups, wow, 
uh, eight of wands and the page of cups beautiful Taurus and at the bottom of the deck I have the eight of pentacles right so I feel someone here is very much focused right focused on you they're you know they're not they're not they're they're not concentrating on the other pentacles they're not um, they're not even looking at them they're just focused on this one pentacle and that's you Taurus right so they, they're, they're very much focused on you, probably also trying to improve themselves or, you know, trying to level up in this connection. So um, so even if you don't see any movement right on, right now in your connection, Taurus, that's because your person um, is working on themselves, right? They're doing a lot of inner work, probably trying to level themselves up and, um, yeah, and, and trying to work on that pentacle, right? For a lot of you, I feel, um, yeah, you could be dealing with another earth sign, Virgo another Taurus or Capricorn but yeah your person is very much focused on you right now probably uh, for for a lot of you I feel your person uh, maybe have some difficulty trying to express their emotions right uh, maybe keep they keep a lot of things suppressed uh, within their heart a lot of their emotions suppressed within themselves so they're trying to they're trying to work on all of that right and also they're they're, they're very much focused on their career Right, for a lot of you, I feel. Um, then we have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, so again, with the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords, I feel your person is just stuck on you. They can't they can't release you from their mind. Right, Taurus? You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but this is this is someone who's who's just trapped into something, right? So I feel that your person uh they're just um they're, they're, they're very much focused on you. They can't let you go. They're, you're on their mind 24-7, Taurus. Right? They just... Um, they can't... Um, they, they can't move past you. And they are at a standstill. Right? This Eight of Swords is very much a standstill card. They're, they're, they're stuck on something. They're, they feel trapped. But then a lot of... Um, a lot of inner turbulence is going on in your person's uh, heart right now. In their mind... A lot of emotions are being stirred, or a lot of a lot of things are coming on the surface, which they are trying to suppress, right? But they can't untie themselves. They they're like they're they're stuck on you totally, right? So you would you 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 can say that yeah, there's a standstill in your connection right now. Things are not moving like how you want them to, kind of a stagnation. But um, but that's because your person is totally focused on you, and they're trying to work on themselves, right? Uh. Oh my god, again the devil. This is like three cards of obsession. I mean, I can't even tell you, Taurus, how much obsessed your person is. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, by the way. But, um, yeah, definitely this this person is, they have some sort of an obsession here. Could be, you know, could be, it could be their negative uh, addiction or, or, or a pattern that they can't break. So, so probably, you know, it's like your person, uh, when they meet someone or when they get involved with someone, it's difficult for them to break free from that person, right? Because they kind of, uh, have this, uh, codependent, uh, you know, addiction, codependent personality. That's what I, I, I feel here with this devil card, right? So probably when they get stuck on one thing, they just... They just want that thing, right? And now it's, I feel right now it's you, right? So they're kind of stuck. They don't know how to go about it because they don't know what's happening. They can't release you from their energy space. They can't release you from their mind and they're stuck on you. Uh, and then we have the seven of swords. So I feel for a lot of you, this, this person could be a player, okay? Taurus, so beware because I see a lot of threes here and I then I see the seven of swords so this this person could be playing you right they could be playing mind games with you or this is someone who's a taker so beware Taurus I, I, I think uh, for a lot of you you guys know that you could be dealing with a player you, they've already showed you their true colors right and it's like uh, they were just probably interested from taking uh, you know your time love affection from you and uh, it, you know it's it, not a not a bad person necessarily i don't feel that but then it's just their their negative addiction their patterns their negative 
patterns, codependent pattern. That's that's what they're dealing with. So it is something for them to uh, deal with and not your problem. So uh, just to de- just to let you know that this is someone who's who's a player, right? They just they just want to sneak around. Probably they were just sneaking around and trying to take take away whatever they could from you. You could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, right? So so yeah. Three of Pentacles, again, uh, I feel that, uh, yeah, I feel this person, they they kind of, uh, you could be, uh, you could have met this person at workplace, you could be going to school with them, or you, you have money ties with this person, some sort of a professional connection also, right? So, uh, so yeah, I feel that, uh, again, a, a third party situation here with the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups and the Devil card here, I feel a lot of lot of um, third party energies were involved in your connection right and uh, your person is some someone who's who like who likes to talk to a lot of people at the same time right so you know somebody who's just sneaking around and they don't want to get, get themselves involved seriously with anyone but I feel you had your emotions involved here Taurus that's what I see here right so uh, also, I feel this person could have put you up on a pedestal, right? They could be watching you from a distance or they admire you and, you know, stuff like that. And they just can't, can't let you go out of, your, out of their mind, right? They're stuck on you. And, uh, and yeah, I, I feel that for a lot, of, a lot of you guys, this person could be also entertaining somebody at their workplace, right? So definitely a third party situation. Uh, with the three of cups here, yeah, it's again, um, it definitely looks like a third party situation to me. But then um, for a lot of you, I feel that this person, they are trying to work work on themselves, right? So don't, uh, I won't say that you ignore the red flags, but I feel that there is there is a potential that this connection might go somewhere right because your person i see they are working on themselves they're trying to improve themselves right that probably for a lot of you they're trying to break free from their addictive patterns uh right their codependent patterns and they're trying to work on themselves and what they want is to get back to you right i feel there is there is no communication between you and your person right now yeah because there's a standstill things are you know they've things have slowed down that's because your person needed to see that you know they 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 were what they were trying to do with you they were trying to play you and probably they have realized this and they're trying to work on themselves they're trying to break free from these addictive patterns or Taurus right and they want to get back to you they want to celebrate with you they want to see you they want to have a reunion with you right probably want to take you out on a date and and yeah i mean i feel for you Taurus you're just like you know Right now, you're not giving a damn about it. You're like, you know, your person, you, you do whatever you do. I'm going out with my friends. I'm having a nice time. I don't give a damn about this, right? For a lot of you, I see that you're just probably working on some project of yourself or maybe collaborating with your team members on a project and um, just doing some sort of, uh, you know, keeping yourself busy in work, uh, whereas your person is trying to work on themselves, right? So... Yeah, again, you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, so there's a lot of, uh, although things are at standstill currently in your connection, but that's because a huge change is about to come in your connection, right? So huge changes are coming your way. Eight of Wands is a communication card, right? So I feel your person, uh, definitely they want to get back to you and they're going to, I feel communicate to you about what they feel and they'll be like you know you know what i want to work on this connection i want to work with you i want to work on our partnership and you know let's just give it a second second try and give me a second chance because you know they would they would say stuff like that to you and probably they're being genuine at least they're trying to work upon themselves as what i see here you can give them a second chance because i see here that there there is a potential in this person right so if you want you can you can have them back but then but then they do have some 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 obsessive energy right so just make sure then when your person comes back to you um they have actually leveled themselves up right 
so i see a lot of communication happening here for you guys right your person could be soon communicating to you i have the page of cups here right which is again a communication card so yeah they would want to you know they they have apologies they they be like you know what uh, i know that i i i i i played you and i was trying to just sneak around and trying to get away with um, whatever you could give me so now i want to apologize for my mistake so there is an apology coming towards you taurus right this could be a water sign again cancer scorpio pisces or a fire sign aries leo sagittarius but i see here that they want to communicate to you and probably you know they'll be like um, listen i want to go out with you on a date i want to take you out i want to, you know i have a chat with you and can we just work on this connection can we just can you give me a second chance because i want to work on this partnership because i see a lot of potential here and you know blah 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 stuff like that so it's totally up to you taurus if you want them back if you want to give them a second chance but i see here that you know they are working on themselves definitely they are working on themselves but it's up to you because uh whatever you decide to do it's like a mutual uh, you know things have to be in cooperation here i see like you will have to collaborate with this person or they would want you to collaborate with them and they would ask for your forgiveness and they'd be like you know what i want to work with you and let's get into a partnership probably sign a contract with you or something of that sort is what i see here taurus for you guys but definitely an apology is coming in right so so it's up to you taurus whether you want them back or not so let me pull out some love messages for you taurus please show me some love messages for taurus messages for Taurus okay let's see We need this time apart from each other for the best. I told you there is a standstill in your connection right now, right? You guys are not in communication. So this reading is for you, for all of those who are not in communication, and if it's resonating with you, right? Um, so your person is saying that they need this time apart from you for the best because they want to work on themselves. They want to work on this connection. They want a second chance with you. They have apologies to make. Uh, I want to focus on my career right now. So. see with the eight of pentacles probably a person right now they're focusing on their career right they're trying to improve themselves maybe for a change they want to just uh shift their focus from you know from obsessive energies towards their onto their career then we have let's make a fresh start so yeah they're coming back they're coming back with an apology they ask for your forgiveness Taurus that's what i see here and I'm sorry for not being there when you needed me the most, right? So they they do realize that you know it's their mistake what they did, and you know you you need when you needed them the most they were not there for you, right? So apologies, a lot of apologies coming in for you, Taurus. It's up to you if you want this person back in your life or you want to just go your own way. But I see a lot of potential here, right? This this connection could go somewhere, and and your person wants to work on this, right? So that was your love reading for mid month April Taurus. I hope it resonated with uh, most of you all of you. If it did please do like share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.